Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Eileen Hull here. Welcome to everyone who is watching live and on replay. Good to see you. I hear a little echo, but not horrible. So I'm going to ignore that. Hey, Lisa Alpert. Hi, Linda. Charlotta, Wendy Jean, Glum. Who all is here? Liz Boswell, Spidey Stamps, Marion, Brenda, Christy, Leslie, Laura, Karen. Good to see you guys. Are you ready for Saturday? We are going to have so much fun. Hi, Kathleen. Yeah, we. I'm getting all of the um, things lined up, and I think we're doing okay so far. So hopefully there will be no disasters, but you never know. <laughs> I am saying prayers. Um, luckily, Susie is going to be there. Yeah, me too. So if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, you need to come. We are going to have so much fun. We're having the Spring Fling Craft Along event. That's on Saturday from 9 to 4 Eastern Time. It's $30, and you can buy it over in my Etsy store if you want to come. There will be about nine. I know, there is that echo. I don't know what to do with it. Um, anyway, sorry about that. I still cannot figure out. I know the way a little. I don't know. That's not helping. Hey, Amy Powers, you have to go to a funeral. Oh, Sorry about that, but you can watch on replay. So um, your first live you've attended. Oh, good, Pat. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, so anyway, we are all full speed ahead for Saturday. And all of the designers are very excited and have their projects ready. There's Brenda. So hi, Gwen and Wendy Jean. So... Yeah, never disasters challenges. Well, there's <laughs> sometimes disasters. But let's not think about that. We're we're happy. Um, yesterday, Susie and I went out to one of my favorite, uh, I guess, thrift store. Yeah, it's a thrift store. It's called The Closet. And we were in there for like an hour and a half. We had so much fun. So I got a lot of stuff. And I figured I'm going to do, I don't have two, two microphones, though. Mute laptop, then you won't hear me. That will be the problem. But maybe good. <laughs> no, it's my phone, and I already muted it, and I don't know. It's just obnoxious. I even have my thing plugged in. My, I know, it's the, the Great Beat Extravaganza. And they're even calling it the Spring Fling. I can't believe it, but great plans, you know. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to do a separate video of the things that I found at the thrift store. I hope that you'll watch. I'm probably going to do that later or maybe tomorrow. Um, so if you haven't joined the fan club, why don't you do that? We're a great community. We have almost 7,500 members, a lot, a lot of people in there. And it's been so exciting to see what everybody is sharing with the new release and some of the things that I've done on lives. I love seeing what you guys are making. It's really fun. Oh, Minnesota, Nancy, it's snowing. Are you kidding me? Oof. Unbelievable. Uh, let's see. So anyway, it's a fun thing that we're going to make today because this fits in our little journal, the new card case. And we make it, each one of these is made out of six by six paper. So you can use either double sided or single sided. These are some that I have been hoarding forever um, from Cosmo Cricket. I don't know if you guys remember them. It is like a old, I, I don't even know if it has a date on here, but a long time ago. But I love these kind of retro. Um, papers and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a very quick card case 
out of a file folder because I don't want to make this like a really stiff journal. I just want to make kind of a, a flexible one that will work with uh, whatever I decide to put in here. You could put little journaling cards, the ATCs, ephemera, whatever you want inside. And then I'm going to show you how to hinge it. So you can just insert that into your little book and use it to store all your little pieces. So it's so much fun. All right. So um, what else do I need to say? Oh, I wanted to show you what I made. <laughs> this had nothing to do with the sunflower. But, oh, there was a butterfly. I'm not sure about him. Isn't that fun? I put it on watercolor paper and I die cut... Uh, some stems and things from the dies that I showed you last time, the shadow box. See, doesn't know what the card case is. Oh, Lisa. Yeah. Okay. That's this. I was going to show you when I put the camera down. So yeah, we're going to make that. And this actually today when I was at the thrift store, I think I found a frame <laughs> stupid butterfly. I can't figure out where to put them. I'm not quite done. I have like a vase. Well, it's a canning jar. It's an old dye. So I was going to cut that out of glass and kind of frost it maybe. And um, anyway, that's my thought. Judy Cantrell, I hope you feel better. I saw your post today. That is crazy. Ugh. Get get out of the hospital. That's all I can say. And you know, it's dangerous. Anyway, what I did was the other day after I cut um, all those shapes and things out of the watercolor paper, I went ahead and die cut them. So I have these for whatever I want to make, little cards or 3D things like that. And I think they would be really cute on the shadow box. I'm sorry to hear it. It's been a glorious day in Scotland. Oh, that's good. A har comes in from the North Sea. It's freezing cold. You are septic. Oh, no, Judy. Ugh. I hope they're giving you massive antibiotics. Good Lord. I, I mean, that was with my dad. Every time he would go in the hospital, he'd be worse. But I'm sorry. I don't want to say that. But anyway, all right. Let's make our project. I am going to turn this camera down. And... Let's see what we got here. Sorry for this. I also tried to see, I can hear it echoing. It drives me crazy, but I don't know how to fix it, guys. I'm, if I do it, there's one way I can do it, and I have to pay a whole lot more for this stream yard to, um, I don't know. I just don't know if it's worth it, but I don't want to have to listen to this all the time, and I don't want you to have to listen. So that's the life of the, <laughs> the live person. Okay, so here is our file folder, and I was thinking, too, it would be pretty just to emboss it, you know, but I can do that later. I This is not the main thing. I just want to make, like, a little... Uh, case to hold this in. So what I'm going to do is, Leslie, here is my blade. Sandy Mayfield, yes, I'm coming to Mega Meet. It's going to be fun. I have the new dies. I have samples. Yes, we have to get our get-together again. Brenda, I don't know if you're going or Lisa. Going to have a good time. Okay, so here is my file folder that I have kind of just scored down to um, six inches because that's going to cover my die. And then let me get, let's change this. I don't think I need that again. So here's my big shot. Here is the card case. Now in this one, I am not going to cut my pockets because I want this to lay flat in my book. So I'm just gonna cut this piece twice. So I think actually what I need to do is cut this down because I need to flip it. 
so that one is going this way. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's the opposite. Okay. So I'm just going to line these up over here. I'm putting my right sides down. Hopefully this is going to work. Maybe I need one right and one. No, it's not going to matter. It's not map board, so I'm just going to get these creases. I'm not going to. It's not going to matter. Okay, I think that's all the cutting I have to do. So how are you guys doing? It will be fun, Charlotta. We wish you could come too. All right, so I'm just quickly putting together a little book to hold these. And I think file folder is just the right um, thickness of material that I want for this. So again, here is the book that we're making to hold these little file folders, okay? So we just cut out two of these pieces right here, and then I want to make it so that they kind of flip around. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. I don't know, guys. Can you hear me now? Shoot. <sighs> Why? Okay. I don't know what's going on. They're having way too much fun. <sighs> This is not fun, guys. 
All right, so here's our little book. So the reason I like this kind of configuration, oh, wait a minute, I got it, I'm on the wrong. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, this one I want to be. I did the wrong thing. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. You need the other camera back. I need somebody here. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I, I don't have the brain power to do it all. I need assistance. <laughs> okay. So the reason that I like it like this is because it will hold in all these little pieces that we're going to put inside. Okay. So here's my thought. We have two of these, so we could go actually that way might be better. You know, so we can hold two of these in here or even more probably. But anyway, that's the thought for putting it together. I want to show you how to just create this little pocket thing, which is really fun out of one piece of this six by six paper. All right. That is enough of that stupid cords. Okay, so I know which ones I already did, which is that. See, it's, it's even falling apart. Isn't it pretty? I love this paper. Let's do that one. So, again, you can do your double-sided because then you'll, you won't have white inside there. But whatever you want. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to do a selection here. I'm just going to have to keep looking and make sure that you guys are still there. Uh, so you can do as many as you want or as few. I did four. But I, after you see two, you're only going to need, you know, really even one time. Not hard at all. Okay, so again, this is old Cosmo Cricut paper that I have been hoarding. I just love the colors. So first thing we're going to have to do, let's pick four. So I think those are nice and bold. That's a nice, you know, mix. That one's kind of cool, so maybe that one instead. That could be good. Uh, I think I like those four right there. Okay. No teal. There's teal right there. Don't worry. I got teal. <laughs> this wouldn't be right without it. Okay, so now I have to chop off my little things here. I'm not sure I can do that with this trimmer, but let's see. This poor trimmer, it is really good. <laughs> okay. All right. I did mine on my little scoreboard, but you need a flow chart. <laughs> I need something. Uh, all right. Let's see. Which one would be the easiest to show you? Probably this one. All right. So. If you have a pattern, you want to go in this way when you do a score line at five and one at one. Okay, so if there was writing on here, you would want to go in this way. None of these are directional, which makes it easier, but um, that's how you do it. Okay, so you're going to do five and one. These are so easy, guys. And then you're going to rotate that around and you're going to do two and a half. Okay. And you can fold it. And then you need some long scissors. Um, I don't know where my nice aqua ones are, but you cut off the long strip and we're going to use it. So keep, you know, hang on to it. Okay. So just find the little ditch, go down, and then, you know, trim this off too. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing on each of them, but we'll just go through and do one first and then do the other ones, okay? 
So now you should have these two little flaps. So what you're going to do is line them up on here. And you're going to do every quarter inch. These are kind of fussy, but they make a cute little accordion and it works out. And so just deal with it. It's okay. You're going to be okay. So I can only do two. I have to turn this so I can get my last quarter inch here. Doesn't always like that. Okay, so now we have quarter inch scores right here and along here. And so we're just going to fold this over and we're going to start making accordion folds like this. Okay, so your white should be sticking up or whatever. If you have double sided, it won't be white, but you know what I mean. And just try to keep these straight. But it's not a big deal if you don't. Now, I did think about putting a gusset in the bottom, but I didn't. You can just fold this up. Okay. The other thing that you're going to need are some clips. So I got my binder clips here. Oh, sorry. X O times 2.5 get in centimeters. That's probably right, Charlotta. I, um, they're tiny, very tiny. Uh, two and a half. Yeah, that sounds about right. Very general. All right. And then you're just going to glue this up nice and strong. This is going to be your you know, where you fold, so just keep it. This is a little tricky part because you have glue and you're gonna get it on your fingers and you wanna flatten it down here at the bottom. But just favorite clips. Yes. Yeah, I don't have any other colors, Lisa. I get them in Dollar Tree. Just line these up so they're, you know, out to the end. And just kind of flatten them down because they get a little warped kind of. But just take your clip and do that, okay? You might be going downhill a little. You can still work it out. Okay, so let's just go on to the next one. Anyway, you're going to keep doing that, okay? I don't know if it's better to show you on this side or what. I'm going to go back at five and one. Score down there. Rotate one turn. Come up here, do two and a half. And probably would be good to do bone folder or, you know, flatten that down pretty good. Okay, again, we're just going to trim at the one inch. And I'll show you what we're going to use these for in a minute. It's hard to see. I don't know if you guys can see, but you could, you know, make a pencil mark if you had to. And again, keep these because we're going to use them. Okay. So we'll just finish this one and then I'll show you how to put it together. Okay. Well, I have to go to Dollar Tree now. <laughs> yeah, they're good ones. Okay, so half an inch, quarter of an inch. And I'll hold this up in a second just so you guys can see, but it's 
not that hard. It's just a little fiddly. Can you guys see that? Oh, I forgot to put on my... My light's not working. What a disaster today is. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on, guys. The electronics world has just turned its back on me. I better get good by Saturday. <laughs> All right, so if it doesn't go exactly right, I just kind of fiddle with it and make it go where I want it. But it, you're not going to be able to tell in your final thing. It'll all work fine. Okay, so you're just going to basically, you know, fold that up there and glue. Okay? Does anybody have questions? Hang on, I'm going to look in a second. Turned to back on me. Turned its back to me a long time. <laughs> nerve okay so maybe if we press down at the end would be a good system yeah that's pretty good you can kind of tuck them in as you go get these nice and flat and then again you know, I like the idea of using my 6x6 six six paper pads because I know that they're all coordinated and you're using up stuff you already have, which is always nice. Okay, so on this one here, that should be dry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to corner round up here. I think it just looks nice. I have not been having oh, much luck. I wound up using my other chomper and I did the quarter inch side it's a little more of a round okay so look at that cute little file folder isn't that adorable that'll hold a lot it is very straightforward okay so but what I want to show you is how to put them together okay so what I'm going to do is take these little pieces that I have left over and I'm going to score halfway down. These are an inch wide, so I'm going to go a half an inch and just score down the middle. Oops, this way. And I'm going to fold into so that the paper is showing in the middle. And then all you're going to do... Let's just corner around this because it gets a little harder when you have this thing sticking in. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, and I would do all of these first, and actually I would probably put this one in between and probably that one last, or yeah. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a hinge. And yeah, I won't do this because I don't want to put it on the same color. I want these to contrast. I'll show you the ones that I did, which were not all contrasting. but um, And you will have some of these pieces left over. And so for those, I made like little kind of tabs, which you can put up here or you can put down or you can hold things in with them however you want to do it, you know. So anyway, I used contrasting colors, so it kind of stood out a little, you know. I think these are just so much fun. That one I made a mistake because I thought that was going on the front, but it didn't, so, you know. You also could take more paper if you had it and go up here and do a line across, or you could do washi tape. You could do all kinds of stuff. These were some extra ones that I had left over. So this was just so much fun to me. You like using your scraps on hinges. Yes, and they contrast, you know, which makes them look like you meant that, you know. So let's just do the other two. We can go ahead and do them real quick because I would like to finish this. And then we'll have two little books 
So again, I did one and five and two and a half. And that's just the measurements I came up with, but you can do if you want them, you know, wider or different, you can do them however you like. But these do fit in the book, which was my main goal. So anyway, that's what I did. Well, I'm still here. That's good. good sign. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I, I really need sharper scissors. These are kind of blunt. Just do these the best way you can see. And your scissors kind of go into the groove. And it doesn't matter if you do, like, right on the line. Sometimes it matters, but I don't think with this it does. You just want to have, in general, an inch strip. That one's a little bit skinnier. but Because you're just going to make, like, little flags out of them or hinges, which doesn't matter, really. And then we're just going to score these little... Little gussets here. They're really fun. These are kind of mindless. They're a fun thing to do when you're trying to figure out a bigger plan or you just want to get something done or you need to have a Facebook Live to do. <laughs> so, but I think these are cute. You could put gift cards in them. You could put little cards or little photos would be really cute or just any kind of small items that you have to keep them in one spot always a good place and i also like that these are um you know that the journal itself is not real heavy i don't think we need that so it's just going to be a fun little journal I mean, I was thinking recipe cards, but they're kind of small. Like, I don't know what you could cook with a card that could only hold, you know, a couple items. <laughs> like, that one doesn't want to go, so I'm just making it. See, I don't know why this is not holding how I want it, but okay. And that will give it a little time to set. I think I just got glue down in this accordion, so that's a pain. All right, I'm going to push these down and then fold. Yeah, that seems to be a pretty good system here. And then look at it and make sure it's not... You have a little bit of time to... Fiddle. That one looks good. And then just and just clamp them down. And that's where it'll dry. Okay, one more. And then we'll get this put together. The time is going pretty quick. I mean, we're getting a lot done in not that much time. I think if I had shown you all the treasures, we'd still be doing that because <laughs> we, somebody had gotten rid of all their wood mounted rubber stamps and we had to go through and look at them all. And then we thought we had seen them all and it turned out there was more in the office supply section. We had to look at them. Then Susie had to do her sorting process, which was, I want this, I don't want that. <laughs> oh, it was fun. I probably should have bent this over before. That would have helped. But. And you could really put a little gusset in there. That wouldn't hurt. And 
you can always just trim this up after if it's way off. You can see a die for this in the future. Could be, Teresita. You never know. You really don't need it, though. I mean, it's only a little bit of scoring. I always love things where you can use up your paper that you already have. All right, so you might have to work with this a little. I don't know what I did wrong there, but maybe this might be just a little extra on the side. I'm just going to trim that off. All right. So now we have all of our little, little pockets. So we just have to trim, pour around them, we'll wait until they dry. Let's do our hinges. So what I did was one of each. And then the other one I used to make a little flag, and I didn't really want that to be scored, so I left one, one plane and one with the score line. Okay. All right. Sorry about the echo, guys. All right, let's clean up a little bit here. And let's just fold these over. This is where you do have to be a little bit careful when you're assembling these. So I just want to show you what I figured out when I did it wrong and it didn't line up right. Here is um, another set that I had done. This was some paper I got from Hobby Lobby. And this was the first one. And I didn't really line it up too good. You can see here the bottom is kind of slanting down. And I don't know, it just wasn't hot. I had to re-glue that. So. Just pay a little attention when we get to this point. So let's round our corners. I just think these are so fun. I kind of wish I had done them with double-sided paper. I did find if you used really thick, it's kind of a pain because you see how it is to get this accordion here? Well, it's really hard if it's very thick. So like, I wouldn't use 49 in market for this. It's pretty thick. Okay, so let's do our order. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay out my binding here. So I just wanna have something different in each one. Okay, that should work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue to both sides. And then I'm going to put this right at the bottom. I'm going to put the fold right at the bottom. It doesn't quite make it all the way across, but it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to stand it up and line it up with the next one so that they're seated on the ground here. Oops. And that's got to go in there. But you have a minute to kind of get these straight and to press like that. Okay. Hey, Mitsiana, you have an owl themed card case already cut out with A5 paper. Oh yeah, it won't matter. The size wouldn't matter. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. So it's just very repetitive, but it makes this cute little set of accordions. And I do like to do the four because when we go to bind it in, we're gonna have two on each side, which is even. 
So just make sure you get this right at the bottom. And you can kind of line it up and then, you know, make sure that you're straight like that. Okay. And normally I would probably put that aside, let it dry for a minute, but we're already on borrowed time here. So I'm just going to keep going. And then we'll be done. And we'll have two of these, and we can put them in our little book. Okay. I'm going to lay that on top. And just kind of line that whole thing up. Like that. That looks good. I know. I, looked, I do love this paper. How... Are those the clams from the Dollar Tree? Yes, they are. How can, how cute this project. Oh, good, Anna. Yeah, it is. I mean, look at this. Just make sure that your glue is not um, hindering these from opening, you know. They're going to pull a little bit just because there's, you know, it's dimensional. But you should be fine here. Okay, so we have three or four here. Then we also have these little pieces, and I'll show you how I did the little, I don't know what you call it, peacock feathers or the little, you know, tail thing, whatever you call it. I'm just folding this in half, and then I take my sharp scissors, hey Karen Rogers, and I just go up the middle pretty much. As, much, as well as I can, snip, snip, and there you go. So you can take like your, I would use a smaller one, but you know, you can just put that wherever you want. You can use a paper clip or not, put it there. You could clip little things to it, you know, that's how that works. So these are simple enough. Okay, so we have two little sets. Aren't they cute? Oh, I shouldn't have done the teal and the teal, but that has yellow, so that's okay. Um, now we have our little book. So what I would do is take my, depending on which way I wanted to go, you know, I kind of like this idea because then anything, if it tries to come out, will be stopped by this flap. The other thing that you can do with these, if you wanted, you could just put a scoring line across here, fold it over, and you have a little envelope. Put a little Velcro dot, you know, and you have a nice little envelope that you could close up. But I kind of like the idea that of it being easier to close uh, like this. So when you open it, you know, th these will be back to back and you've got your whole little folder. I, wonder if you, I guess you could go like that so they're all the same. Then you could look at them, you know, and have them all open like that. So I don't think it matters really. So what I would do, I didn't get my elastic out, but I can do that. don't really have a good color. Well, wait a minute. Yes, I do. I'm going to use all this up, I'm sure. Um, actually, the red might work. But I can't get at it because I have to take the whole thing off. This is a pain. I think I got it at Walmart. And it's pretty skinny, but these are not really heavy duty. So I'm just going to measure around here and kind of cut and do my knot. And I learned my lesson. I'm going to do an overhand knot. 
I think it's stronger that way and it's not going to come apart. Okay, so then we're just going to take each one, fold it in half like that, wrap this around. This is a little bit loose. And we're going to thread this through your book. Oh, wait a minute, it's going the wrong way. This way. I need to tighten this up, actually. So that these are each going to be down here. Yeah. And you could use other things than elastic, but I do like the elastic because it's so much easier if you decide to take this out to work in it and you have elastic. If you have string, you probably have, it doesn't have the give, so you have to retie it and, you know. Okay, that looks a little better. So then I would take this one, find the middle, and you could do it either way. You could put it on here and fold it up and then pull it down or like I did the other one. But you just want it in next to its friend. And there you go. So then I will just take these, that one like that, that one like that, fold it up and boom, look at that. You have to go, okay, Elizabeth. I mean, Isabel, sorry. Yeah, isn't it fun? I love it. You bought four clamps at home towels on your sunbeds. Yeah. So I have to figure out what I want to put in here. And then if you want to make these other little clips or tabs, you know, go ahead and do that. You could put a title up here of what, you know, what should go in there. Or like if you had, you know, like these little flowers, you could, you know, put them in a pocket and close them up. Or those, anyway, whatever you want to put in there. Little journal cards. I don't have any on me. I was cleaning today, so I moved them. The other thing that you might want to do is, although, you could punch a half a circle up here so that these elastics will just sit in them, you know, and not move so much, but I'm not sure if you want to cover that, if that's still gonna, no, that should be fine. So I might do that, you know, mark it where it is and just let it sit here and here. And so it doesn't move around, you know. Anyway, that is the project that I have. This is um, made from a file folder, Leslie. Yeah, isn't that fun? Oh, hey, Kathy. These are very old papers from Cosmo Cricut that you can't get anymore. I'm still trying to see if I can see a date on here. 2012. Okay, forget it. You could add magnets inside each flap. That's true. Yeah, so they're really cute. But there's so many pretty ones these days, too. You know, you can use anything. And then I just wanted to have kind of a soft... Uh, cover. So I just took a piece of file folder and I cut two lengths from my card case die and I put this together and made this little book. And I mean, you were with me. We made it in not even an hour. Well, thank you, Laura. You are watching Royal Talents. You almost missed me, Karen. This was a fun project. Look at all the room for the, all the little goodies in there. And these are nice, too, because you could do tabs or bookmarks out of these. That's a pretty pattern, you know. Um, I bet you could get a journaling or a, an ATC out of it if you went this way, a couple of them. And they're nice and uh, sturdy, you know. I wouldn't call this a real heavy-duty 
file folder. This is kind of medium. I don't know where I got this. I think it might have been Walmart, actually. I think that's what they have there, U-Brands. So it came with pink, green, and blue, which I thought was pretty. So anyway, that's how we did it. If you miss some, just go back and watch. It was uh, quick. Need to catch up. Had to run for your inhaler. Uh-oh. Yes, Katie. You have to make this? Yeah. If you do, put it up in the group. This is called the card case. And Lisa, the running question is, is it a box? Because it has these little, uh, it has little pockets that you can put inside to store things. But if you leave them out, it's a book. It's definitely like a little book and you know you have room in here too you could add a little book over here or a little notepad or something you'd still have room for plenty of stuff you know I guess not if you put a lot of stuff in here but look at that you still have room to put stuff so you could put a couple more little elastics yeah I have two of these left so I have to update my shop I didn't want to run out um but I do have two left and I have more coming on Wednesday. So, well, good. Thanks, Sharon. I'm glad you like it. You have large file folders with prints on them. Yes. Oh, yeah, Debbie. You know, the other thing I was thinking, this would be pretty to emboss, you know, even if you just did this cover or if you did a piece of paper and then put it on top to kind of strengthen it. But I do like the, I like the way it came out. I have to, tighten that one up a little bit but I think we have a fun little project I just have to think of what I want to put in here so anyway book cover and pocket inserts yes good name well thanks guys okay all right I ain't got the wrong thing in there okay well I'm gonna go I still have work to do and I've got to figure out this echo. <gasps> All right, guys. Thanks so much. Sorry for the technical problems. And uh, I'm going to be hoping we don't have that on Saturday. So I will see you then. If I don't see you Saturday, I will see you here on Tuesday. Okay? All right. And don't forget, if you um, make something like this just put it up in the fan club eileen hall fan club you can't you can put in money you could little gift cards that would be cute or you know what if you had like i'm thinking my granddaughter they love seeing pictures of themselves you could do like when you were one when you were two when you were three you know Oop, i'm getting booted out here okay I think that's my cue. I'm going to take off. Good seeing you guys. All right. Bye.